Hey guys, this is Karthik Kantwal from Apex Finsaw, and we're back with the daily dose of your charts for uh, tomorrow's watch list as usual, and the index outlook too. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, you know weekend uh, interview series that we have started, and I also hope that you know you found something of uh, useful that might help you improve your trading style or your trading mindset while in the live markets. So. now that uh, well we are on to a fresh uh, new week ahead last week was more or less uh, you know a dull week for us the equity watch list ending on a slightly red note if i'm not wrong of about 1.5 to 2% in the red if you consider the entire week's performance but uh, nothing that we can't ref- uh, recover from definitely not a big hit so let's see what do we have in store for tomorrow with the same uh, eight charts starting with the first one sr transfin no sr transfin uh, we don't really have any uh, you know quality uh, zones or uh, quality swing points at this point we do have one at uh, 675 or uh, 675 to 680 but that would be too aggressive and uh, well can, uh, keeping in mind uh, how uh, last week went you know aggressive trades were not really rewarded by the market so we are going to go on a you know the safer side on sr transfin this time around we are going to go for a long position at the Uh, strongest uh, swing point and the strongest uh, demand zone that we have at 650 with the stop loss going at 640 and the ideal targets being 1% as usual moving on to the second script that we have apollo finance sorry apollo hospitals <laughs> now apollo hospitals we are going to go for a short position the idea is uh, really very simple here we are going to go for a short position at the nearest swing high of 1745 uh, to 1750 we are taking entry on the lower side uh, slightly aggressive because the candle formation at that point was weak even after a bullish candle that was being rejected so we have a short position at 1745 stop loss at 1765 and the ideal targets being 1% as usual coming on to the next script that we have uh, just dial now just dial if you remember uh, this uh, high uh, point of the uh, ceiling range that it was in 378 to 380 we have taken long trades uh, in the past here as well and they have worked out pretty nicely so we are going for uh, a similar uh, planned trade uh, for tomorrow we are going to go for a long position at 378 stop loss going at 373 and the ideal targets being 1% as usual simple roll reversal at play here uh, no rocket science then uh, the next step that we have is uh, pel now pel it has underwent uh, you know a lot of range contraction over the last uh, two trading sessions <coughs> if you keep in mind its regular trading range that is not really something that uh, you know it was happy being in and on the uh, last uh, trading day of the week that uh, it ended up breaking that range on the downside so now we are going to go for a short position simple roll reversal at play of support turned into resistance now so we are going to go for a short position at 1450 stop loss at 1470 and the ideal targets being 1% from your point of entry moving on to the next chart that we have indusind bank Indusind Bank, similar case, a uh, simple roll reversal at play. If you are able to judge from the candle formation here, this was acting at support as support, this uh, level of five uh, seventeen five eighteen, but the bounce was not really sustained. It broke that swiftly in one strong candle, full of selling pressure. So we are going to go for a short position at that level. It was resistance, tried acting as support, failed, and now it should be resistance again. So we are going to go for a short position at 5.17, stop loss at 5.25, and the ideal targets being one person from your point of entry. Coming to the next rip, MFSL. Now MFSL again and again we have gone for breakdown trades on this one, so it's not going to be any different this time either. We are going to go for a breakdown trade of uh, this uh, support level that we have, or uh, not the support level rather, but the uh, lowest point of the recent swing leg of 520. once that is taken out we are going to go for a short position so this is a sell under 520 not at 520 so it's a sell at 520 sl at 527 ideal targets at 1% so this is one of those trades where you know you would prefer using the slm order and uh, not the standard bracket order affair moving on to the next rep oro pharma well oro pharma uh, we simply do not have any strong demand zone uh, apart from the one at uh, 850 to 853 So we're going to go for a long position at 850. It is pretty far away, but uh, well, you you know we don't really prefer taking entries where there are no entries, no forced trades for us. So we're going to go for a long position at 850, stop loss at 840, and the ideal targets being 1% as usual. Coming on to the last uh, trade for today, this is a chart pattern. It's a if you are familiar with the flag pattern, it's a very clear flag pattern. 
सो वी गेन टू गो फॉर ए लॉन्ग पोजिशन जनरली फ्लैग पैटर्न का लॉन्ग कैन बी टेकन अब ऑफ द करेक्टिव चैनल ब्रेक एज वेल बट सिंस दिस इज ए वॉच लिस्ट ट्रेड एंड नॉट ए यू नो लाइव मार्केट यू नो प्राइस लेवल दैट वी आर गोइंग टू बी ट्रैकिंग वी आर गोइंग टू गो फॉर लॉन्ग पोजिशन अब ऑफ द फ्लैग पोल हाई ब्रेक एंड नॉट द करेक्टिव चैनल आउट ब्रेक और ब्रेकआउट सो वी आर गोइंग टू गो फॉर लॉन्ग पोजिशन अब ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व स्टॉप लॉस एट फाइव जीरो फाइव एंड द आइडियल टारगेट्स बिंग वन परसेंट एज यूजल नाउ दीज आर ऑल द इक्विटी ट्रेड्स दैट वी हैड नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द इंडाइसिस निफ्टी एंड बैंक निफ्टी नाउ वेल वी हैव दीज जोन्स सिंस द लास्ट थ्री डेज एंड दीज जोन्स हैव बिन वर्किंग आउट एग्जैक्टली एज दे शुड बी वी हैव हैड स्ट्रॉन्ग सेलिंग प्रेशर सर्जेस फ्रॉम द सप्लाई जोन एंड गुड बाइंग प्रेशर फ्रॉम द डिमांड जोन्स now uh, after the uh, massive sell off that happened on uh, both the indices well for nifty particularly it has uh, taken a bounce from a demand zone and uh, it has closed near a supply zone not near a supply zone but rather within the zone itself so now that zone is the key point for uh, nifty so if uh, you were to uh, say then i would say if this zone is being sustained then it might uh, you know go uh, back to 11275 11280 If that zone is not being sustained, it might go back to 11100. So either way, it has a roughly 80 to 90 points movement awaiting itself. Let's see how that goes out. But uh, when we come to the option chain for uh, you know reference points, so we have uh, immediate resistance at 11200 with 1.2 million added contracts. Important resistance at 11300 with 1.5 million added contracts. So a lot of contracts have been added on the call side of things. That means the resistance build up is uh, pretty strong. So uh, you know it, it, this is coinciding with the zones. It, we have a zone at 11190 and 11200. So it's uh, very much possible that this might not be sustained. The reason why I'm saying that is we have immediate support at the demand zone again with 11100. but the number of contracts with respect to the number of contracts added on the call side is uh, less than half of it at 560000 uh, added contracts so let's see if this is not being sustained it might uh, uh, you know fall on its face back to 11000 for significant support we have 11000 with a healthy 1 million added contracts let's see what happens with uh, nifty as i said this zone is going to be the key if this breaks on the upside we have 90 points up if this breaks on the downside or if this is being rejected we have a 90 points down move awaiting now when we look at the pcr for nifty the pcr comes out to be at 1.04 which is in the bearish territory so the option buyers have been bear uh, you know have been bearish uh, since friday whether they are correct or not that that remains to be seen in the live market tomorrow let's see how that plays out now moving on to the uh, next one that we have bank nifty now bank nifty uh, it also had its fair uh, share of uh, the sell off that was faced but well uh, not but rather if you if you observe these zones the stopping of the sell off movement and the origin of the sell off was all something that uh, you know aggressive trading or even mildly conservative trading would have caught it was very easy to make uh, 300 400 points on bank nifty that day uh, sadly i was not available on friday because i had other work so i do have some regrets but if somebody was using these charts or even uh, their own charts based on demand and supply zones they could have easily made 300 to 400 points on bank nifty however uh, for tomorrow i would say that uh, again 21600 the nearest zone is going to be the deciding factor if it is being sustained then uh, we might see it surge all the way to 21800 which is the nearest option chain resistance if the if that is not being sustained then we might see it come down to uh, 21450 21480 which is the next demand zone Now, when we come to the option chain exclusively, we have immediate resistance at twenty one eight hundred, which is uh, uh, you know added with one hundred and twenty thousand contracts, significant resistance at twenty two thousand with three hundred thousand added contracts, important no sorry immediate support, <laughs> immediate support at twenty one five hundred with one hundred and twenty three thousand added contracts, significant support at twenty one thousand with one hundred and eighty six thousand contracts added. Now let's see how that plays out. This zone at twenty one six hundred is going to be the key uh, for Bank Nifty. If it is being sustained, we might see it uh, go all the way to twenty one eight hundred. If that is not being sustained, it might go uh, all the way down to twenty one four hundred, twenty one four fifty. So either way, upside or downside, we have a hundred fifty two hundred points move awaiting Bank Nifty in tomorrow's market session. Uh, you know, in tomorrow's trading session, as per my expectations. Whether that happens or not depends on the market volatility and how well the market reacts to these zones. when we look at the pcr for bank nifty 
the pcr comes out to be at uh, exactly one or it's not exactly one it's 1.00 or uh, 2 1.004 something but rounding it off to one it is again in the bearish territory so the option buyers are still bearish whether they are right or not that is a separate thing and that remains to be seen in tomorrow's trading session now these are all the charts that i have to discuss with you guys for tonight i hope you guys have a, a good start to the week tomorrow and i hope you guys enjoyed the weekend interview content as well uh, what kind of new content would you like to see on this channel i would love to hear recommendations from you as well apart from the uh, you know classic learning videos and these uh, interview sessions that i have uh, come up with if there's anything else that you would like to see please uh, you know uh, do write it out in the comments as well i do read all of them and i do take suggestions from them as well now this is all that i had to share with you guys for tonight as always if you want any of this content or rather all of this content then check out the uh, apex finsau channel on telegram at the rate apex finsau twitter instagram as well all of it is in the description and if you like the channel don't uh, feel shy and don't forget to press the like button and well subscribe and hit the bell icon do as always thank you so much for watching guys have a good night bye